everyone I'm Ann here from Ann Makes thank you so much for uh, stopping by to watch this video I really appreciate it and if you're new here and you'd like to subscribe please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below I'd love to have you as a subscriber get me up there to uh, 600 get me up to a thousand that would be awesome <laughs> and uh, so today I do have a Dollarama haul to share with you Dollarama by the way is a chain of Canadian uh, dollar stores that we have here and the items range between one and four dollars Canadian so we have a lot of the same items that you get in your dollar stores in the US if you're uh, watching from the US uh, and the you know you have like other stores like dollar plus and more and king dollar and all these other great stores and and we have dollarama so that's you know i'm sure they get the stuff from the same place it's the same suppliers <laughs> so what i want to show you is that today i had to uh go out again uh somebody needed a lift and i it was unplanned. It wasn't part of my schedule. It was not what I intended to do today, but that's okay. This was very important. And so I did. And so to kill time while this, uh, I was waiting for this person to be done with their appointment, I went to do a little shopping in that area. I went to some stores I hadn't been to in a while, and I stopped at a Dollarama. The only things I picked up, there were three things, and I got this brilliant dot-to-dot -dot for grown-ups. Create Intriguing Visual Puzzles, a David Woodruff book. It is really big. It's really thick, and it is $3. And look, it shows that you can even do a dot-to-dot -dot of the Mona Lisa. And I think, is this a... I'm not sure what that one is but look and it's really it's got so much in here does it see how many pages it has you see here I see it's about almost 300 pages uh, you have a total of 284 294 so uh, there are 286 88 pages total, 284 of them basically are these dot-to-dots. They are challenging. I have done some other adult dot-to-dot -dot books that I've purchased at Dollarama, and they are challenging. Uh, and I, I consider myself a smart person, and it's not that it's not that it's hard. It's Well, it's hard. It's like you need to be patient, and you have to really pay attention to where the numbers are because sometimes the numbers will will jump from there to there and you have this really long line to draw it but it's really cool in the end so I think it's fun to do these once in a while and uh, when I saw this thick book I thought oh my god I will have enough dot to dots to do till the end of my life probably so I got that I picked up this one and the one and only uh, sheet of Halloween stickers by the Sticko brand these are a dollar and I would have gotten more if they did have more, but they didn't. And these are really cute. These have like pumpkins and basically faces and accessories that you can decorate your little pumpkin sticker with. Isn't that cute? I don't know, that's really fun. So if there had been more, I would have gotten more of these. But that was the only one. And uh, the other thing I picked up were these locker basket with handles. I had not, I only saw these one time at one store, and I hadn't seen them in months again. And then this the store that I went to today had some, and so there were yeah I got three of these uh, pink ones. They are nine by thirteen and a quarter inch. They're sold uh, especially to go into lockers, but they also work great on shelving units or in cupboards so that is why i got them and i got them in pink of course because uh everything in my craft room is either clear white or pink and I told you it was a very very short dollarama haul that i did this morning but now i'm going to show you the haul i did yesterday it's not big so it shouldn't take long it's yesterday i went looking to dollar tree to get to stock up on those red tape runners which there's a video of that too so I'll try to remember to link that one in there so 
this morning my uh, the I had someone needed a ride and uh, it was unplanned and so I went to Dollarama that's another store but the little bit of Dollarama I did do yesterday I will show you now so as per usual I did purchase one of these big bins uh, to store lots of stuff in this Dollarama uh, only had the ones with the white lids they didn't have any of the clear lids left that's okay white is, is acceptable in my storage so I got that one and some of the items I got uh, this was new to me it is uh, a Duramax product it is the anti-slip carpet tape uh, you get 60 millimeters by 3 meters or 2.4 inches by 118 inches in length of this tape that is a rubbery grippy thing that you can stick under rugs to make them uh, grab the floor so they're they, you don't you know step on them and wipe out and, you know keeps them it's, it's a safety thing and so I thought this is a good deal because it's four dollars for this big roll of 118 feet yeah, 118 feet. So you can't, that's pretty good. And uh, I do have a, a couple rugs that, you know, will be nice to have this underneath them. So I got, I actually got two boxes of this. Now, as I, as I walked into Dollarama, this was right there. How could I resist? Look, the cats. So I got these. They're reflective stickers, Halloween reflective stickers. And they had, there were two packages of kitty, of these kitty cats. And of course, I got them because, as you know, I love cats. So I got that. And then I saw the cutest uh, little wood wood sheep with, oh, jute hanging rope. They're, oh, these have a little rope. Okay, they have a little rope in that. But look at these. Aren't these the cutest? They're wood and there's like wool on them. And uh, they had them in this white and a gray. I have no idea what I'll do with these, but they're adorable. So I got them. <laughs> like they were really, really cute. Uh, in the Christmas ornaments, this is this was the only one there that I saw on top of a box. I wanted some of something of this color for uh, a wreath that I want to make to put in my craft room. So I got this, and that's pretty good because there's actually five of these little ornaments in here and this was a dollar twenty-five. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you that the sheep were a dollar fifty. Um you may recall from my other Dollarama haul that I did a, a couple days ago, I purchased a bag of ice melt and a container to put that it smelt it and to put it in my car and a pair of I actually forgot to show that in the previous video. I got this bag of ice melt that is uh, four dollars, the gloves that were four dollars also, and I put that all into this nice storage box that was two dollars. It just uh, takes up very little space and a pair of gloves too. Uh, but at the time that Dollarama did not have a scoop a small scoop like this. I only had the larger one, but this Dollarama I went to uh, did have the scoop that I wanted, and I really like using these. They're uh, they're metal, and they are two dollars. And I'm going to put this in the bin with the um, ice melt uh, stuff to, to melt the ice. Uh, so in that, in that box in the trunk of my car. I saw Tina, uh, Tina Kazarian. She hauled these the other day and I happened to find them at the Dollarama myself. So uh, what they are is they're like little jar toppers that you can do cross stitching on. So you get the patterns, you get the, the, the pieces of eight o'clock uh, and, the, and the thread and there, I think there's a needle in here and the pattern to make these like monograms for some jars and you get have enough in here apparently to make four of those jar toppers and in this one the eight o'clock is black and it already has a stamped 
image for you to follow and you just uh, stitch that. So to make some really cute little handmade, homemade uh, jar toppers for your mason jars. And so these are $1.25 a pack. Um, I saw this compass, drawing compass in the office supplies and I thought it was good value because it is a Staedtler brand. It is the kind that you insert the lead in the other leg instead of, of attaching a pencil, which I really like using. And it has a little barrel here with extra lead. It comes in this nice little case that is reusable and there is a ruler on it. So I often find myself in need of a compass uh, when I'm making patterns. So uh, I will put this to great use. Oh, they also had this in their new cross stitch kits. Uh, and I thought it was really fun. It, for $1.50, this is pretty good for a counted cross stitch kit. Uh, it is by Dimensions. Yeah, it is the Dimensions brand. And look what it says. My brain is giving me the silent treatment today. <laughs> I've had many of those days. And I just thought, this is really cool. What a really like modern, kind of urban way to combine uh, quotes and cross-stitching. So I just think, oh, this is really neat. So I had to get that. I love the quote. I got myself a box like this, the Duramax Pro for the uh, storing supplies and my craft room, of course, and they call this a hardware divider, but I, I use it for craft stuff. And these are $3. I haven't seen a lot of these. I just, there were a couple at the store, and I was surprised because I thought they didn't sell them anymore. But I picked one up because like, ooh, if I need one, I'll be happy to have it. And the last thing I want to share with you is, yes, call me crazy, but I purchased a roll of gift wrapping paper. Christmas gift wrapping paper. Now, I always say the same thing. I don't need more gift wrapping paper. I have tons left from the year before. And I say, I've been saying this for years. Oh, so maybe, my, maybe I should really check my stash because maybe I, I do need some more. But this one I got because, look, it has cats. It has these kittens, these adorable kittens. So I just thought, oh, not only for gift wrapping for presents for my cat loving friends, but I could I can make other paper crafts with this just because the cats are so adorable. So this is a pretty decent sized tube actually. Um, it is the luxury gift wrap and there is supposed to be 150 inches in here uh 40 inches by 150 inches so that is what you get and that is it for my dollarama haul my other dollarama haul so thank you so much for watching i hope you were entertained by this and <laughs> i would appreciate a thumbs up please like comment and share i hope you're having a great day and uh take care of yourself and i'll see you later bye